Good day, guys. Bing here. Um, today we're going to model this one. So um, pretty much like this. Okay. So let's start. So I just close all these. Okay. So we're going to start. Um, with this, uh, so first we create a project, and we're going to use model in place mass. Okay, so go model in place mass. Okay, so first we need to create, uh, roughly create the shape of this the whole building. So we're going to use. Uh, so uh, I think I'm going to. Um, let me just use point. So I want to, because I wanted to create the uh, a square shape of the building. So I'll roughly copy this one. So I'm not sure how big this this building is. I guess it's, it looks like a quite big. Um, uh, let's say 20 meter, 40, 80, uh, 40 meters, 40 meter, and another. Oh, that's big another 40 meter okay so and then i'll just copy them up by 40 40 meter another 40 meter okay so now i'll just use these three points create a spline spline and spline oh hang on are they aligned sorry looks like they are not um sorry about that so i just delete that i'll copy this this 40 and another 4T. Okay, so now select them and and make them reference line and then create a form. So let's go to 3D view. So now this is it. And then we just need to increase the software but this one, increase this. And also we can increase these two points. So I just go to, um, I'll just write in, use a keyboard. Okay, so so for example, these two points, we can just move them up. Okay, so something like this. So now this is the building, uh, the, the overall shape of the building. So the roof, sorry. <laughs> and then use the body surface. And so we're going to reduce the number of the, the grid. So for example, six by six. And also when you look at this, um, we need to rotate the pattern, so 45 degree. And I think that's that's better. So we might need to increase uh, slightly. Um, yeah, I think that that that's good enough. Okay, so this is it for now. So then the next step is we need to want create one panel. And if you look carefully, so you can see, um, so this this the, the this curve and this curve. Or oh, this curve uh, on this panel and this this curve on this panel they they are matching right but here so you will see this this curve on this panel and this curve on this panel they, um, they create a, a shape here so a field with uh, windows same here so we're going to um, create a panel just like that okay so let's create it so it will be a um, pattern pattern based so we're going to use general model pattern based okay so now what we need to do first place some point use draw on face so one two three four and then we need to place point use draw on word plan set word plan and tab pick the horizontal word plan at this point place it on the point again tab and place and tab and place and tab and place okay so now select the point so this one so let's move this up so see um, positive offset so this one move down positive this one go up and this one go up as well 
So what we need to do is first select these three points, rotate them by 180 degree. Oh, good, good. So now they are all um, uh, offset uh, downward. Okay, so now we need to select these two points and create a offset. So let's call it H1. Um, type is OK. And um, actually, hang on, before, before we, because um, before we type in the offset here, I want to adjust the size of this panel. So currently, if you select this one, so you can see the current uh, grid size is roughly three meter by three meter. But in here, so apparently, this size is larger, it's bigger than three by three. I guess if that's 80, that's 20, it's roughly 20 meter by 20 meter. Okay, so it's just let's just make it 20 meter by 20 meter. Okay, so now we can uh, we can roughly get um, so we already have this offset. So let's type in, uh, for example, um, three meter. Three meter. So apply. I think it's a little bit too big. So let's connect connect these uh, three points. Okay. So and then these three. And it seems I think uh, it's a little bit too much. So maybe we can change this back to roughly two meter. Okay. I think it looks okay. Uh, maybe. 1.5 meter. Okay, so then this side, so this one will be, um, um, I'm not sure which, which side need to be, but let's just create another one. So this one will be H2 instead on oh no, a type parameter. But this time uh, I want to make it maybe three, three meter for this one. And here, so this one will be another one. So let's call this um, call this H3. So uh, type parameter, okay, and uh, we're going to let's maybe our 750, okay. So okay. So now once again, so select three points, create a spline, and this one, two, three, and spline, and um, in some soft where you can select these four and create a nice curve uh, shape. But in Revit, you won't be able to do, do it. You can see all these lines, flat face, flat face, not good, right? So I'll just delete it. What we need is another curve in the middle. So um, I'm going to just connect these two and create a spline, a reference line, place another point, draw on face, midpoint, select one, two, three, and create a spline, make it reference line. And together with this reference line and this reference line, we can create a very nice surface. Okay, so then the next step is, um, so I'll actually, I'll just load this one into here, and I'll apply this pattern-based family onto, onto this. So you can see this is, um, it's already quite good, but so you can see all the gap between those panels, right? And we just need to fill the gap, that gap with some glazing. So let's go back here. So what we need is we need another curve here to match that side. So another point, draw on work plan, set work plan, tab, and place it on this point, select this one. Uh, let me just check what the parameter, so H3, select this point, link to H3. So now sel control select these two points, oops, sorry, one, two, three, create a spline, make it reference line. So now use this reference line together with this one. So tab, control, select, and create a surface. 
Okay, so now we have this surface. And then select this surface. We need to devolve the surface, turn off the U grid, and this is the this these are going to be um, panels, but we're going to change this one. So currently it's a fixed number, so we're going to use maximum spacing to more, make more sense, right? So I'll just type in one meter, so which means all these panels, the maximum width will be one meter. And I think that's um, that's okay. So this is the pattern uh, divided surface, and then we need to create another family. So another pattern based family. Okay, so um, let's just uh, maybe you can just use curtain panel pattern based. It's the same. And this time um, I'll just quickly create it. So I'll just first create a panel. I'm going to use a, a no thickness. Okay, just and give it a, a, a material. And then I'll just HH and then create window create a frame. So I I'll uh, just place a point draw on face anywhere on this reference line, rectangle, and draw on word plan, set word plan, pick the point, and then just roughly draw it here. So I'll just check the size. So tab select. I'll just make it 50 by one uh, 150, something like that, and then I'll just roughly. Uh, just move, adjust it to center. Uh, just sorry, give me, give me a sec. Just kids, wake up. Okay, sorry about that. So select this profile and also control select the path, create a form. Okay, HR glass frame. So now load this into that family and select this divided surface and change it to this so now you can see what's going on here anyway just uh, ignore it <laughs> so it's not perfect so see here so this is because so this pattern based family is basically a four point adaptive family but in this corner so there are only three so this is why uh, it's not working here. But um, don't worry about this. Um, I think let's just delete it. Okay. So you can you can create create a three adaptive point a three point adaptive family to fill this gap if you wanted to. Okay. So delete this one as well. And now. We can we can load this into the project. So so now this time it will fill this gap with all those uh, uh, windows or uh, pattern base. Oh, sorry, um, yeah, pattern base family. So and will just look like this. Um, I found it a little bit hard to try to match this. So this corner, so you can see it will be a three point adaptive family. So different to those, same as this one. So one, two, three, three points. And so for this one, you might need to manually adjust. So because um, let's just check all done. So if if you find that your pattern or your, the the model's gone, just click on save, cancel, and that's it. So yeah, um, what I um, mean, this panel. So you can see this one. So um, let's say this one. You might need to um, manually try to you know match this. I think, um, yeah, but other than that, I think it's all good. It's quite quite nice. Yeah, you probably need to try to, um, for example, you can delete some of them. So you can tab, try to tab, you can delete if you want, if you don't want them. And you can also um, 
because pattern-based family are basically adaptive family, so you can tab select one of them. Um, I'll try if I can see it. No, that doesn't work, but that's fine. So you can go here. So basically, you can go here. Uh, they are. Uh, let me just check, double check. So this is pattern uh, curtain panel. Yep. So it should be on the curtain panel. So you should be able to find them. So this is family family three so you can see here so you can just drag this out and now it just like placing an adaptive family so one two three four <laughs> sorry it's a bit slow still thinking um, yeah you can manually place them if you um, you can have a play <laughs> oh, this is very slow for only one panel okay it's it's, it's okay so yeah so this is why <laughs> when I place I just render the place um, I should I should have tried to maybe place on a on floor plan in the floor panel but so this will create this very shape or very uh, very interesting shape um, yeah that's it um, okay so I'll just delete it so yeah basically this is it um, not 100% same but just uh, some ideas Okay. If you have any questions, please let me know. Um, I'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye.